Hi, I'm an aerial photographer. If you think my photos suck, you can ignore all my bad advice. Obviously, I think everybody knows by now the best drone in 2019 is the Mavic 2 Pro, but can you justify spending $1,800 on something when you aren't even maximizing what you could get out of a $350 drone? To clarify, yes, I really, really like the Mavic 2 Pro. I I'm using all the features though, and I'm really trying to push this thing but most people who are trying to justify spending that much more on a toy aren't using what they get out of the drone already. So you see these new photos on Instagram and YouTube and they're in all these wild angles and have this beautiful color and you don't know how they're getting it and you think maybe if you get a new drone, you'll be able to match it. It's in the editing, first of all. Second, most of the reasons people justify upgrading from something like a Mavic Pro 1 or a Phantom 3 aren't necessarily concrete reasons to upgrade. One of them is the dynamic range and yes, it is easier doing a single shot with a Mavic 2 Pro and getting better clouds and better shadows in the front or during sunset. However, I don't know if that's a deal breaker when you can take a Phantom 3 standard seriously and shoot HDR. And I'm not talking about merging those together with the app that does it automatically and gives you a crap JPEG. I'm saying shoot in RAW, all DJI drones do HDR. You get a three photo stack, a dark one, a medium one, and a light one. Take those three photos into Lightroom. It's seriously just shift, click on all of them, right click, photo merge HDR. And when it builds this for you, you have so much more room to work with the shadows and the highlights and make something seriously good looking out of a really old drone. And versus JPEG, there's just no competition. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyway. The next thing is the megapixels. The Mavic 2 Pro is shooting at 20 megapixels and the old drones are doing like 12. Again, that's great that it has more data in a single photo, but to get these really cool angles and really, really wild photos that you see getting tons of shares online, and pretty much all of my photos these days, you have to be shooting in panorama, so you get way, way closer to a subject, like a castle or a tower, and you either do a three photo panorama, which is still better than nothing, or a nine photo one, and you get all these photos stacked together. When you're talking about nine 12 megapixel photos, you're, that's 100 plus megapixels, versus just shooting 12 megapixels from far away and doing what you can with it. You will wind up with a much, much more dramatic photo, tons of data to work with, way better highlights and shadows because there's more data there to begin with, and your photo will stand out big time. Even if you don't wanna use the entire thing, you just crop out the parts you do wanna use, but it's still night and day difference. The third thing, none of this should even be up for discussion if you aren't shooting in RAW to begin with. If you are just shooting the standard JPEGs out of the drone, just what the drone gives you by default, you're getting nowhere near what you could get if you shoot in RAW, bring those photos into Lightroom, and then adjust all the shadows and the highlights and change the color of the sky and highlight certain things that you like and, and fix things in the foreground that you don't want to be visible. Seriously, it's such a game changer. It's like 10 bucks a month. So consider that if you don't wanna spend a whole bunch of money on a brand new drone, you can get a used Phantom 3 standard. Seriously, a drone that old can still keep a steady gimbal at two full seconds for like light trails on cars and shooting in low light, and it'll look mostly fine. Most people won't be able to tell the difference. Mm, it's up to you. You know, if you have the money, you're rich, go for it. Otherwise, I don't think you should justify upgrading to something like that unless you've maximized all the potential out of the drone you have already. But you know, what do I know?